If you wondered what a complete classic mini wiring loom looked like, this is what it is all laid out. This is a brand new early 70s Cooper S loom uh, from Mini Spares, but they don't make it. Uh, really good, nice quality. Uh, it's not labelled, but with a good wiring diagram you can work it out. But I can give you a quick run through. So starting down here, this is the front of the car. So you've got the alternator plug there. Obviously, if you've got a generator, it'll be different. Um, this one was specced with an, as an alternator. Uh, you've got the ignition, uh, headlamp, loom horn, uh, indicators, following it along. You've then got the um, starter solenoid, which goes on the inner wing. That's um, your fuse box connections, because <clears throat> it's a really small fuse box going along. You've then got central speedo loom. Uh, that's your uh, switch, plugs, and your uh, connections to the steering column. And then going back onto the main loom, you then have your uh, wiper motor switch. And then the back loom connects in here. And this goes up the um, A post along the roof line, then it drops back down into the boot. So you've got the fuel tank, uh, rear lights, uh, and on this one, there's the wiring for uh, SU fuel, electric fuel pump, which would go in the back. And then you've also got a lot of wiring for the internal light switch and then the door switches that switch the switch on and off and there you go complete loom